think like the uh, profit before tax uh, strongly beat the consensus, like 8.5 billion versus 7.6 billion. And especially we see that the upside surprise was mainly from the fee income side. Like the uh, HSBC showed very strong uh, income growth in both wealth growth and the global transaction growth. And that shows its capability of uh, like managing through the uh, interest rate downward cycle, shows its very strong capability of uh, driving the fee income growth. So I think overall that's a very strong quarter. Yeah. And the three billion dollar share buyback. This is a surprise to you or not? Uh, not really. I think that's largely in line with the market expectation. And we do see that the capital ratio of like 15.2 percent. That's kind of I think above our expectation. Very strong capital position. Talk us through now what we heard from George L. Hedery in recent weeks in this major restructuring. Uh, many see this as a form of cost cutting. Uh, also the ability for the bank to be able to be making decisions in a quicker manner. What do you make of what we've heard from him so far? Yeah, I think that basically that's well the rationale behind this restructuring will of course mainly uh, for the cost saving and also for uh, like simpler decision, uh, like a quicker decision maker uh, making process. I think that will be benefit for the bank of course for the longer run. Um, but at this moment we still need more visibility, more details to estimate what's the uh, uh, near term uh, financial impact and I think we will have more details uh, in the uh, full year result. Yeah. Hi, Man Yi. Dan joining the conversation from Riyadh. I want your take on what this new structure that you've been talking about is going to mean for the bank's competitive position globally. And what changes do you see in terms of strategic direction now that the bank also has a brand new CFO? Um, I think one of the key changes I see here is that they are basically the among the four new uh, restructured business line, we have Hong Kong and we have UK, we have uh, separate, like uh, separate Asia, more, more independent or more separate Asia operations from the um, others. I think that may mean that HSBC may more focus on the core market, the uh, Hong Kong market, and uh, that, that I guess more in line with uh, its shareholders expectations uh, and maybe drive more uh, like a higher ROE for the bank. Um, but again, I think we will have to wait for more visibility upon its uh, more explanations in the full year result.